Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to Truth Be Told Dash Insight. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into something today because it has come across not just my feed but others feeds and it very very common when you're first coming out of a narcissistic abuse situation you're going through that breaking of the trauma bond to start really ruminating over a lot of things and that's natural everyone does it because they're trying to connect the dots trying to get the answers as to why that person's behaving that way and you start to understand okay there's more to it than meets the eye so this is going to be an inspirational message for you all and yes Luke 177 don't forget God says repent okay everyone that is when you are teaching and preaching with Jesus we cannot forget about the importance of repentance and the bottom line of that is you make a mistake you own up to it and then you don't do it again when God reveals the deception to you is be not deceived okay everyone that's a package deal right there so there's your godly message on that one now I want you all you got dream you got passion you got goal to do good and to do righteous thing that's from God the enemy these narcissistic abusers when they see the light in you and they know that you've got something good in you that's going to help make a difference out there in the world for the greater good they can see it in you they don't want you to do that so they're gonna all that abuse is designed to do many things as I say often and not just to keep you re-traumatized but basically it is to try and get you to give up to give up on your dream to give up on your passion look you want to be a teacher you want to be a singer you want to be an actor or an actress you want to be a doctor go for it there's nothing that's what God put in you that's your inner desire you're to go after that always never ever let if you're around naysayers cut them off like i said in an earlier video way back all right if you're around people negative people naysayers who are the, they got a demon of doubt they go well are you sure cut them off cut them off because god put that desire in you that's his gift here your talent got to unpack all of those things remember they're already inside you god already knew before you were born exactly what you were destined to do and so don't let that narcissistic abuser ruin your dreams that's what they're after really when you stop and think about it how many times did we have to learn that lesson not to divulge <laughs> our inner passion to a bunch of strangers especially when we meet them for the first time so i'm going to share a little story with you all because this is not just my story, but many other stories. And I, one of them happens to be, I ran into a doctor who revealed to me that they knew when they were still just a young child that they were going to be a doctor. And guess what? They're doing great work. Okay? That's what they are. They knew. That is how early it is that many find out and discover and they know when they hear God's voice and it says this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna be and you may not you know you don't have to have it all figured out right away God says no because you're gonna go through those stages in life and you got a lot of lessons to learn we still have a lot of lessons to learn on this journey in the spiritual awakening it is a continuous learning process and so we want you all to not be discouraged don't let that demon of discouragement keep you down and keep holding you back from looking into and exploring there's tons of opportunities out there that will help you reach your goal your dream all of that that will help you whether it be going to higher education whether it be going to a specific private school or some trade school or whatever there's stuff out there to help you accomplish those goals and dreams that God put in you because it's only up to us to be who we are in Christ
And so the other story that for myself and others who are out here helping survivors of abuse, that's something that we knew a long time ago that God put in us to do. And that is why we're doing what we're doing. And just as a reminder, and for those who haven't heard this yet, I, it may seem as though all of the stuff that we're doing with the healing and spiritual growth and then my website and the business when it launched and things, some people were like, wait, did this just happen overnight? I'm here to tell you no. That's the other thing I want y'all to remember. Chase your dreams, your goals, but you're also going to have to let patience have her perfect work. I've been mentoring survivors for a long time. Let's just remember everyone, it's a, it's a process, okay? You're, you know what your purpose is, it's in you. It's that burning desire to do something great because that is what is in you that God put in you to do. And it takes a little time to discover, okay, now when you re you're in that narcissistic abuse situation, yes, all of us got forced to put it on the back burner. And it's an unfortunate thing, but we did. Because remember, what does the narcissistic abuser want? All of our attention, admiration, adoration, all of that, okay? And so that, it causes us to end up putting aside our dreams and our goals for a little while. But when we get out of that and God wakes us up, he, he reminds us in little ways and through other people too, as we learn and discover and we start growing and go, oh, okay, but you always got to be willing to learn new things, especially with technology today. If y'all need any help with that, I'm not a master at it by any means, but I am intermediate, okay? So I can help you get started with the basics and you can go from there. If that's what needs to be for part of what it is that God put in you to do and to get out there and do his will for you. Eventually when we get out of that and God wakes us up and we get back into our purpose and we start exploring all of the different different ways that we can actually accomplish that because there are a ton of different ways to do it it's just a matter of figuring it out and god will help you do that along the way he always does he's not going to drop you on it like i said in a previous video when he gets you here and you can start seeing all of the abuse for what it really is and you learn how to overcome it it takes time and i understand that but i just want all of you no matter what if you have that dream that just sitting there like screaming at you, that's part of the Holy Spirit trying to tell you, hey, I need you to get up, <laughs> okay? The Holy Spirit's telling you, and there's ways to do it. You gotta start, oh, networking. You got, you're gonna have to meet new people. Cause let's face it, the enemy does not want anyone to think that there are still good people out there. And you know what, that is false. Remember, the devil is a liar. There are still a lot of great people out there that will help you get to where God needs you to be. Okay? There are. And that's just something that I understand, many of us understand, that the enemy causes and tricks the mind into thinking that when they get out, they've got no one left. You know what's funny about the whole thing though? We all start to realize when we get into the spiritual awakening how God removes people. Okay? He removes those who are not meant to go on your journey with you. He will remove them. Okay? And not only that, another reminder everyone that when God removes you from a situation or from a person, we learn not to go back cannot go back to what God has already removed us from because we learn the hard way many of us that if it's in an abusive situation what happens the abuse will escalate it will get worse so that's another reason why we advise against saying anything to the abuser you don't have to tell them anything you just walk away I know it's easier said than done it does take time breaking that trauma bond it is a process and it's natural to have these questions. But I don't want y'all sitting there thinking that there's no way out. I don't want y'all sitting there thinking that you're stuck because you're not stuck. That's what the enemy is trying to trick you into thinking. You're not stuck. But it is going to take some time 
and patient because the thing that God put in you to do His will is going to develop over time as you learn new skills and you learn new things about yourself and then remember things about yourself that the abuser caused you to forget about you because it's already in there like I say often I want that to sink in that everything you need to do God's will is already in there but you've got to unpack that bag here's some action steps if you're still wondering what that is take out a notebook as always write down all of see you know you you know your skills you know what your dream is you know what your inner desire is so write down all of the skill sets that you have picked up throughout your lifetime from different areas, be it education, be it different job, whatever skill sets you have picked up. Because believe it or not, there are some things that we all forget over a period of time when we're in that abusive situation. Then when we get out, we have time to self-reflect and we have time to rediscover all of those, and I'm going to tell you, it can be little things like simple calculation, math, simple little scientific concepts, simple little things that you've learned along the way, all these little different skills. Write it down. Write down all of the skill sets that you can remember right now, and then every single time you remember one, write it down because it'll come to you over time and you're gonna you will surprise yourself believe me many of us did when we did this we're like wait a minute oh I forgot that I knew how to do that and then sometimes we need a refresher especially with cooking okay so for a lot of things that we used to do at a certain time in our lives that we need to still be able to do I mean we still got to eat right so we do need refreshers so once you write those skill set down and you remember oh I have the skill set but there are certain things about that skill set that I don't remember guess what there's tons of resources oh my goodness it is awesome there's tons of great online courses online resources and then there's in-person resources still out there too you just wouldn't think of it because of the online world these days but they're out there and it takes just one or two you know you one two maybe three sometimes you have to do a little bit of research and kind of look into certain things to see what aligns with your purpose and that's what you do you'll take those skill sets and you'll analyze them you'll go through them and say okay so which ones align with my purpose then everything will start to come together and over time it will continue to develop and as you continue working while you wait God will show you more and more that you missed at the same time don't be overwhelmed many of us are here you know how to reach me as always so that's it for today y'all don't give up don't let the enemy, oh my goodness, please do not let the enemy try to trick you into thinking that if you make it, right, if you, when you become successful, that all the people that from the past or whatever, you know what, people are going to talk, okay, no matter what, you do good, they're going to talk, you do bad, they're going to talk, people are just going to talk, so guess what, you be you, all right, go for it. Go after those dreams. Do the necessary legwork because you've got it in you always, always. You've already got it in you. It's a matter of figuring out all the little thing that will help it come together. Okay, everyone, as always, if you have any questions about any of that, you know where to reach me. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.